What's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, Crypto Fud. And let's jump right into this. All right, so just a quick video update on Pepe. I feel like I haven't, other than the live streams that we have every day at six o'clock, I feel like we haven't really been, you know, like directly making videos on Pepe. And obviously, right now, Pepe has come back from the dead. Wasn't really dead, right? But I mean, this thing has just come back to life and is literally just gone absolutely parabolic. You guys can see right now we are sitting at around that 31 mark. We did top out at the top of this fib retracement at around the 36. Looks like we're getting somewhat of a little bit of a cool off right now. Wouldn't be surprised if we maybe come down to this 236, retest in this 29 spot right here before maybe, uh, you know, I think what, what I'm saying is we want to see some kind of a confirmation uh, bounce off this 29, letting us know that we're uh, we found some support. And I think we'll still be on to the races as we continue to move up. A uh, couple of things, if you are looking at Pepe right now, maybe the FOMO setting in, I would say just have some patience. You never know. Maybe we might see somewhat of a small retracement, like I said, down to that 2.9. If not, you can see this next FIB retracement right here, and I'm going to see this is going to be your 3.82. Looks like it's been a solid spot for some support. You can see as we were moving up, we kind of sat there and found some support at this 382, and this is going to be somewhere around that 25 mark. And this is what I'm saying as far as where we're at right now. Most likely, something like that's probably similar. Something similar is going to happen where we made this new local uh, local high, right, at around the 36. Maybe we need to come down, bounce at this 236 a few times, confirming that we have support before we start taking off, you know, breaking this local high right here. You can see we did that. We made a local high. We hit our head right here at the uh, 2.8, or I'm sorry, the 2.98. And you can see we basically chopped around in between the 3.8, the, the 2.36 and the 3.82 uh, 3 fib right here, but finding support at the 2.5, basically confirming that we, we have support and we're ready for the next lift up, right? So, you know, like I said, just have, have patience as far as if you're, uh, if you're looking to just add to your bag or if you're looking to possibly jump in on the project patience might pay off where you might be able to catch like maybe a five or ten percent um you know retracement before we uh continue to move up as far as um bitcoin real quick we do, we do need to just focus real quick on bitcoin last night surged up to fifty nine thousand. right now we are fifty nine thousand two hundred and eighty one. we did jump up and hit our head pretty much at this support level that we've had mapped out at around the fifty nine six fifty nine five nine to be exact and you can see we've retested it multiple times. We have this happening coming up, guys. I think Bitcoin is going to be unstoppable for right now until we uh, approach April. So we have a whole month of March. You know, there is going to be spots where we are going to uh, retrace a little bit. But I think we are looking at a all-time high pre-happening before uh, April coming. Probably sometime coming up here in March. So I hope you guys are ready. Meme coins seem to be absolutely going beyond parabolic not just pepe but a, a lot across the board right now one thing i wanted to point out market cap for pepe 1.3 billion dollars almost retesting its all-time high all-time high for the uh, market cap is at around 1.38 we are at 1.33 so you can see this is obviously when uh during the bear bear market when pepe came out you guys remember Pepe came and, and ruled the crypto space for a few weeks, right? And that's why I always tell everybody, you got to have respect for Pepe, right? This thing came and did what no other no other project, especially a meme coin's done, come out in the bear market when things were so hectic and, and everything was down, came out and absolutely ripped up to over a billion dollars during that bear market. So, I mean, you, you owe respect to Pepe, right? I mean, because it, it deserves it in my eyes. And uh, another thing that's just so astonishing is that the volume, the 24-hour volume for Pepe is almost $2 billion. Do you guys understand how much? $2 billion volume coming in and out of Pepe. That is just absolutely craziness right there. So, you know, shout out to everybody that's in Pepe. Make sure, hit that like for this video so the algorithm can send it out to all you fellow Pepe, you know, uh, the Pepe army, we'll call it. Right, we want to make sure we blow this video up so everybody can see. Also, looking at the crypto bubbles, these are the top 100 projects. Look what is standing out. What what's the highest performing project right now? 
Pepe for top 100 for crypto. Pepe is a top performing project right now and that is just that's outstanding and this isn't just been for today this was also for yesterday as well pepe was up 44 percent yesterday right so i mean this thing is just taking off i mean it, a lot of eyes are on pepe again once again right a lot of eyes are on pepe for the week you can see up 180 percent for the month up almost 200 percent. this thing has absolutely ripped absolutely ripped if you look back you just go back to let's go back to like february the 24th which was only four days ago and you look at <clears throat> the 24th is right here and we just look at what what we're at right now we're up like i said about 200 percent at the top we were up 235 percent this is in four days people just in four days imagine that <clears throat> over a billion dollars has come into pepe in the last four days over a billion absolutely insane pepe is ripping what do i see pepe in the future honestly this thing can continue to move you know be, given that you know it, it's it's getting fueled by the actual crypto market right now it's just going so parabolic bitcoin leading the way so this thing can honestly continue to rip there are going to be times in between that you're going to have some retracements so you know just i would honestly don't get psyched out but at the same time don't get greedy right if you're up massively you know i'm not telling you to sell but just look to see if you want to take some profits. You know how things go, especially when it, and especially when the projects just rip hundreds of percent in in few days. It can easily <clears throat> retrace back to some you know solid levels. So I'm not saying that's particularly going to happen for Pepe, and that's why at the beginning of the video, I'm giving you guys support levels, right? So we have the uh, spot for some support. Again, we'll go over it two nine. It's going to be your first spot, and then obviously the two five is going to be the line in the sand for us to stay, you know, somewhat massively bullish, right? So the the two five is what I would be looking for because it just bounced multiple times as far as some solid support if we even do retrace back to those levels. So other than that, I foresee Pepe continuing to move as long as the uh, the crypto market is thriving, right? So other than that, guys, make sure you hit that like. Hit the like I already said for the algorithm, not just supporting the channel, but for Pepe. If you're invested in Pepe, hit that like. And make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Every day we are going live, 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, p.m. that is, in the evenings. Come in, come ask questions. We'll definitely get a little bit more in-depth on TA for Pepe and stuff like that. And any of, your, any of your other favorite projects, we're definitely here to check them out. So other than that, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see everybody this evening. See ya.